I don't think, I don't believe in this, all oh, the good old days. The good old days were filled with uh, segregation, uh, with lynching uh, African Americans, with lots of crazy, crazy stuff. I, I remember, I remember the night Martin Luther King was killed, coming out of church in, uh, in Flint, and um, it was an all white, you know, Catholic uh, church. And it was Holy Thursday night, so it was Holy Thursday Mass. And walking out of school, and one of the dads had gone out to, it was cold, it was early April, to warm up the car, and the radio came on, and he heard the news, and he shouts out to everybody coming out of church, they shot Martin Luther King! And a cheer went up amongst the people coming, and I'm like 14 years old, 13 years old at this moment. And I'm like, I cannot, you know, like, I'm trying to process this as a 13-year-old, basically. And... So, so when we talk about the good old days, to me, those are the good old days. But when the Finns in Finland tell me that all the great, you had the greatest education system in the world, and you threw it out, you tossed it down the toilet. You all, so we just took your, your brilliant American educators and philosophers, we took all of their ideas. We saw them from the Fieldston School, just here, somebody from Ethical Culture talking about how the, these, these schools date back to the last century and how a lot of these ideas came from progressive educators in New York and then, and then they got tossed out by the rest of the country and, and by New York. And um, so it, it uh, you know, we did do a lot of good things. And the May Day was never a commie thing, the way we were taught about it. It was about Chicago, the Haymarket Riot of May, May 19, or 1886, and it was a riot by workers who had formed a union and they wanted an eight hour day. And all those early ideas, they were initiated by a German Jew named Marx, appropriated by Americans who were trying to form these things called unions in the late 1800s, and then couldn't quite achieve everything they wanted to, but the Europeans then took what they saw Americans doing and then ended up with much better working conditions. I mean, that's the history of, of that. So, yes, sir. 